It's not easy having diabetes, always having to be on guard, constantly checking your blood sugar, constantly watching what you eat. At uh, that time, uh, yung para bang meron ng pa, para bang may mga hair na na, na na that gets in the way sa eyes ko pagka ano na blocking my vision. At saka napansin ko na talagang uh, lumalabo ang mata ko. It's a lifelong, day in day out struggle that doesn't go away with time. Pumutok na ang mga ugat ng mata nyo, sabi niya sa akin. So sabi ko sa kanya, ako, sige na ho, doktor, tulungan niyo ako. Eh, gusto ko pa kung maano yung mata ko. Now imagine how much harder it could be if you suddenly went blind. It's a condition called diabetic retinopathy. It can happen to anyone with type 1 or type 2 diabetes. And it can cause blindness. The rule is, if you're diabetic, you will surely get it, okay? But the name of the game is you try to delay it in such a way you grow old with the mild form of diabetic retinopathy, so mild that you don't even have to get treated for it. Diabetic retinopathy is a complication of diabetes. Having too much sugar in your blood can damage the blood vessels that nourish an essential part of your eye called the retina. Damage to the blood vessels may lead to blood leaking into your eye, the growth of new abnormal blood vessels, damage to your retina, and even the optic nerve. All this leads to vision loss, and eventually, blindness. The retina is like the film of your camera. It's the one responsible for coming up with the, the images that you see. So obviously, if you affect that part of your eye, you affect your vision. The best way I can explain it to my patients, sir, uh, if you think of your blood vessels as a water pipe, no? diabetes is like rust. No? At the very early stages, it's just surface rust. But if you give it long enough time, it will eat, eat away the pipe, and eventually the pipe will leak. All diabetics are at risk of having diabetic retinopathy. However, the risk is increased when diabetics smoke, have poor control of their blood sugar levels, have high blood pressure, have high cholesterol, or if they are pregnant. Patients think that as long as their blood sugar is controlled, uh, they are all right, no? that nothing else will happen. Uh, this is a misconception. No? Even if your blood sugar is controlled, you will still get diabetic retinopathy. A big percentage of patients, diabetic patients, despite seeing normally, can actually be affected by the retinopathy already. Many times patients don't go because they don't feel anything. Then when they come over, um, their vision is blurred. You know? And uh, at that stage, they are in the advanced stages of diabetic retinopathy. Because there are no symptoms during the early stages of diabetic retinopathy, most diabetics may not be aware that they have it. As the condition progresses, however, the following symptoms may appear. Spots floating in the field of vision, Blurred vision, seeing dark streaks or red film that block your vision, poor night vision, and vision loss. If you or anyone you know have these symptoms, or if any of the risk factors apply to you, see an ophthalmologist immediately. To determine whether you have diabetic retinopathy, an ophthalmologist will perform a comprehensive eye exam using specialized equipment. In the more progressive hospitals, the doctor may do a retinal photography test called fluorescein angiography. In this test, a special dye will be injected into your arm and the machine will take pictures as the dye circulates through your eyes. This helps the doctor pinpoint damaged or leaking blood vessels. Your doctor may also perform an optical coherence tomography exam or an OCT. This exam uses a machine that creates high-quality 3D images of your eye. It's similar to an ultrasound, but the resulting pictures are much more detailed. If your doctor determines that you do have diabetic retinopathy, he or she will recommend treatment suitable to your particular condition. Most moderate to severe cases of diabetic retinopathy are treated with the laser treatment called photocoagulation. This is usually done in the doctor's office or eye clinic and is essentially an outpatient procedure. 
we do what we call focal laser. Hopefully to stop the leakage and to eventually get the retina to function better. For more advanced cases, we do a panretinal photocoagulation wherein we laser the entire peripheral area of the eye in an attempt to reduce the oxygen load and hopefully prevent further complications. In some cases, diabetic retinopathy is treated with a surgical procedure called vitrectomy. This is a more invasive procedure and needs to be performed in an operating room. Patients who undergo this type of treatment often need to stay in the hospital overnight. These treatments are usually very successful and often prevent further deterioration of vision. However, since diabetes is a lifelong condition, patients still need to be on guard. Despite successful treatment, the condition can return, so regular eye checkups are recommended. As long as you have diabetes, you'll always be at risk for diabetic retinopathy. But there is a lot you can do to promote good eye health. Number one is follow their endocrinologist, their diabetes doctor, in terms of controlling their blood sugar. Second, depending on what stage they're in, they should follow the recommendation of their ophthalmologist. Sabi niya sa akin, uh, alam niyo, Mrs. Rivera, um, ito ang gagawin na ho natin is to prevent the, the retinopathy from worsening. Kung ano man ho yung masasave natin, isave natin ngayon, sabi niya ganoon. Pero I need your cooperation, sabi niya. Um, kailangan yung sugar ninyo ay maintain nyo sa normal level para hindi lumalayang inyong retinopathy. This includes making a commitment to managing your diabetes, frequent monitoring of your blood sugar levels, and taking steps to put your blood pressure and cholesterol levels under control. And remember, if you or anyone you know experience the following symptoms, go see an eye doctor immediately. And when seeing an eye doctor, make sure he or she has the proper credentials and is a well-trained retina specialist and go to a hospital that offers the best equipment and facilities to properly treat and diagnose your condition. I think it's basic that they have the fluorescein angiogram and the optical coherence tomogram. Now in terms of treatment, uh, then they should have the laser, okay? because uh, most patients will eventually go through laser treatment. For best results, go to a hospital accredited by the JCI or Joint Commission International. All this means is that we follow a set of standards that ensure continuous improvement in the quality of care and more importantly, enhance patient safety. Diabetes is not an easy condition and there's no need to make it even harder. Thankfully, with the help of the latest advances in technology, doctors are working hard to make sure that even with diabetes, you can still see the sweeter side of life.